In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four binding effect animation slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first option comes, I've put kind of a, a spiral binding effect here. You can add the icon. You can add some detailed text here along with the, the title here. And then when I click with a different color, the second option comes, the third option and the fourth option. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 to do this. However, with the older version also, it's possible to do. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light gray color background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle. Draw a rounded corner rectangle. Depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. And you can see the small orange point. I'm just going to drag this outside so it becomes very less curvy. You can see here shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. Depending on your requirement, you can just uh, choose any color all right now i'm just going to hold the control shift key and i'm going to add one more shape you can see here one more shape i have added and this shape i'm going to make it a white okay so i have pressed the control shift key together and i have created one more shape now i'm just going to reduce the size and i'm going to just put it down here something like this and if you like to give some shadow effect right mouse click go to format shape under effects go to the shadow presets and i'm going to choose this one which is the bottom or you can just choose the one which is at the bottom right also and then you can make it a less blur all right if you want you can just increase the distance okay so once this is done i'm just going to add a kind of a binding effect here for that let me just zoom in you can see here go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the small oval shape by holding the shift key shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some kind of a gray color here all right then hold the control shift key together and drag it at the bottom like this all right then go to insert shape select the rounded corner rectangle again draw it and make it full curved all right shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some gray color or you can give some off white color also okay and then reduce the size it should look like this okay and for this also you can give some uh, right shadow effect and you can reduce the blur all right and if you can increase the distance or up to you or to decide okay you can see here you can make it a less blur and if you want you can just reduce the size also okay so once this is done make sure this is properly aligned okay once this is done i'm going to select all these three shapes press ctrl g to group it then hold the ctrl shift key i'm just going to add one more here and i'm just going to add one more here and make sure that the distance between these three is equal so go to align and distribute horizontally all right so it looks like this now for these three shapes also i'm just selecting this one this one hold the shift key and select this three shape and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one object you can see here it looks something like this now go to insert text box you can add the title here make it center align make the font as white if you want you can make it bold and increase the size then go to insert text box you can add some detailed text equals LO REM within brackets one and this also I'm going to make it white font center align reduce the size and it looks something like this and if you want you can make it justify also and put it here and these three shapes okay this one the rectangle this one the title and the detailed text I'm selected I've selected and press ctrl G to group it and then send this to back okay and then if you want you can go to insert icons and you can just choose any icon of your choice so let me just choose any icon 
for this you need to have active internet connection select this one click insert and i'm going to place it exactly in the center and graphics fill i'm going to give the same color what i have used here all right so you can see here this is done so i'm going to select both of this shape press ctrl g and send this to back okay send to back all right now once this is done i can move this one towards the left and then hold the control shift key add two more or three more depending on your requirement and then just choose this one and give any color of your choice you can see here any color of your choice you can do it here and this one also you can simply change the icon depending on the requirement and then once this is done you can go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this animation this object and this object okay and add animation more entrance effects now i can give a uh, maybe a basic zoom it looks something like this or you can give say a stretch so stretch will come like this and click ok and this stretch maybe this one should come from top and this one should come from bottom okay and for this also we can give so let me just show you how it works when i click it comes like this and for this also you can give any animation okay for example i can give maybe a expand or expand is not good i can give let's see is there anything better i think we can just go ahead with maybe a wipe effect also we can give like this and click ok and this should happen with previous now if i play it comes like this you can see here so similarly the same animation can be copied here with the help of the animation painter like this you need to just copy one by one and paste it here all right so this way you can add uh, this kind of a binding effect uh, slide in powerpoint